Hey everybody, welcome back to Laps Comic Fan. I am Steve. Today, I did a little bit of shopping. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. So today I went out, uh, my son's, my youngest son's birthday is coming up on October 11th, so I started buying him some stuff. He's really starting to get into the Batman toys, the Imaginext, or I can't remember what they're called, but the, we got him the Batman house, uh, I got him the Batmobile, and this other Batcave type thing. It's really cool, and he likes them a lot, and he gets really excited. He's, he's going to be four. Uh, so... I, as you've seen before, where I do stuff with my figurines, my action figures, my dolls, um, <laughs> I, uh, I like collecting those, but there's also another reason. I'm going to be making some shows and stuff with my buddy John, and I think they're going to be pretty funny. But I went out and got some, uh, some of those and some other stuff. One of the things that I got was I had had the Batman Long Halloween for a while and I have read this uh, a couple of times really like it some of the stuff in it like I'm not gonna give the the spoiler away but you you don't really see the end coming because the the character in there wasn't really like a main focal point and usually when you have a murder mystery it's like you would like to be able to figure it out throughout the story and it not just be a random you know because then you're like, well, wait, how the hell did that even happen? Or how the heck did that even occur? But I love the book. And they made an adaptation, a two-part adaptation. And I waited for the second part to come out because I thought maybe they would have done like they did with The Death and Return of Superman. I thought they would have combined it into one long film. They may still do that, but they didn't do that as of right now um, with the death and return of Superman. They combined both releases. I I, I know they were uh, like uh, four or five months apart, whatever it was, whatever the time frame was, but they ended up combining it into one like three hour epic and it's really cool. And I really like having these on Blu-ray. I do have HBO Max where it gives you a lot, almost all of the animated features, but I like having physical copies too. I think that's part of the collector from whenever I was a kid and you know, to now. I went out and got the uh, two parts Blu-ray of Batman the Long Halloween. Uh, I have not watched the second part yet. I did watch the first part. I like the changes that they've made. Maybe I'll do a video talking about that. I think for me more is like suggesting to other people or other lapsed fans what I think of what the recommendations would be or to the fans that are wondering, well, hey, what did you think of this? I'll do stuff like that when we rebrand the channel. This is just, you know, what I wanted to get out, what I was doing today. But I, I really like this and I think it so far is a good compliment to this. There's some stuff that they've changed and I could see kind of where they're going. And because one of the characters has way, way more of a backstory and a, a premise to it. So we'll see if that's where they go or if they change something. So I'm going to get right into the stuff that I bought. First one that I got is the Iron Spider from the Titan Hero series. I like this because I have a couple of the other Spider-Men and spider guys i have a couple of those and i really really enjoy the titan series because they're cheap they're big and i just think they look cool i know they're not you know the the mcfarland toys or hot toys or stuff like that those are for serious collectors and um one you know i still have children that are young so i can't go out and drop like 300 dollars on a fucking batman you know, or or I would. When I said that, I said that in jealousy. I did not say that in how could people do that? Because let me tell you, I would totally do it if I could. If I could justify it. It's not a wife thing. She wouldn't care. It's more of a me thing. I would rather have more than not. But I like these. I usually have these on my desk at work, but now since I'm working from home, and some of you are probably like, oh, look what you did to the box. And look what I did with the box. So, here he is. And I think he looks great. 
I love I love the detail in them and I like how how big they are. Like I said, I think it looks awesome. I'm gonna set him over here. Now, the other ones that I got are some DC characters. Uh, my son, like I said, I got him a Batmobile, so I had to get him some characters and stuff to go with it. He's starting to learn the little bits. I'm not le I'm not letting him not even watch the animated series yet. You know, he like I said, he's only four years old. Uh, I do let him watch The Batman, which is uh, more of a Saturday morning style cartoon. And he's kind of into that. He loves the Lego Batman. But I think right now he's more liking the toys. And he knows his daddy likes Batman. So he, he's like, ooh, Batman. He likes to be a part of it. We, we end up... Uh, playing Batman together and stuff like that. He likes playing superheroes. His his big saying is, "Ooh, I'll save you." So we do that together, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. So let's break out. So let's break out some of these. First one I'm gonna take out is Catwoman. These are the four inch. Uh, I believe these are called the. the what series are these? Not sure what series these are, but these are really cool. They're, they remind me of old G.I. Joes, but they're four inch. There's the Catwoman. Here's Cyborg, really cool. Now we're getting into the, the bigger guys. Uh, we got the Robin, I believe this is the Damian Wayne Robin. I'm pretty sure it is. Could be wrong, it could be Tim Drake, but I believe it's uh, Damian Wayne. Then we got the man himself, the Bat. last one that I got today was Superman so I like these the detail on them is pretty cool they they come I don't know why Superman comes with weapons as if he needs a rocket launcher you know but I'm gonna be using these for future videos if you've seen my Iron Man video with Captain America and stuff like that there's gonna be a bunch of comedy and dumb stuff like that but that's what I bought today along with I had gotten these uh, a couple of weeks ago I had the uh, Batman Earth 1 volume 1 I had that um, for a while I read that as soon as I got it because I like I said out of the newest guys that I've been reading Hickman and Jeff Johns have been my favorite there's there's a ton of other people that I've been reading but I haven't gotten around to like getting to them like Jeff Loeb I've, I've read some of his stuff but I knew who that was before I, I stopped reading um, I got volume 2 and I got the hardbound volume 3 I did read all of these and I like them I know some people don't because it's you know a new telling of the story and it's gritty and it's crazy and some of the characters don't exactly act the way that they're supposed to or the way that they had before, but I think that's the whole point of Earth One. Uh, to my knowledge, with the Teen Titans and like Superman, all that stuff, I don't believe they cross over. Some pe that people are conflicted whether or not it takes place in the same, you know, on the actual same Earth One. Like Earth One Batman is on the same Earth One as Superman. I haven't seen any crossover. If there is, you could correct me on that, but I haven't seen it. So, I don't know. I just like them. I, I think it's it's a really cool, uh, different version. And I really like how young Bruce was portrayed in this. Because he was a young, snot lows little crap that honestly ended up getting his parents killed. Like, it would have happened anyway if you read the story and, and how it transpired. But the way it's left to you is how much of an ignoramus he was and a little arrogant little rich kid, you know, and it, it's it drives him 
being Batman and not ever giving up when he's had in the story so many outs to get out of doing it but he never does and he never uses guns and so you'd have to read it and it also has as uh some people refer to as Sam Elliott uh <laughs> Alfred which it's kind of true he is kind of Sam Elliott so I had uh made a video where I started talking about the X-Men and I talked a little bit about House of X, Powers of Ten, and the first run up until Ten of Swords, the Dawn of X. But I got sidetracked in it, and I'm sure if you follow my Instagram or anywhere else, you, you've seen the video of me ranting on the MCU. There's, a, there's rumors of them possibly changing the name of the X-Men. You, you have to be so, you're so insecure with your feelings that you have to be included into a movie title it's like guys don't be so offended at everything not everything is out to put you down or out to to make you feel bad that's insecurity on your fault on your part the name of a team is not out there to put someone down if you look too deep into anything you could find bad stuff in everything okay and especially coming from people that are moralistically, I'm sure, wishy-washy. I've done a bunch of terrible things in my life. I have said a lot of terrible things in my life, in my past. I'm not a perfect person. I don't know anybody who is. The last perfect person on the world walked on water and swam on land. Until I see someone doing the breaststroke down my street, shut up. I would like to talk a little bit about how I think things are going with movies and stuff like that I watch the movies and to see the characters that I read about come to life on screen there's going to be changes there's going to be uh, you know combining more than one character together I I'm fine with that I have no problem you know with like in the Black Widow movie the Taskmaster being a woman that didn't bother me. It, what bothered me is the the lack of, of storyline for Taskmaster. It, it wasn't a thinker. It wasn't a, a planner. It wasn't an executor. You know, it was just a mindless girl, you know, and it was like it didn't do her justice. Those are like some of the issues I have. I, I got no problem with, with women being in movies. I'm married to a woman. I like women. <laughs> I know that's... The, no, I'm not uh, a guy that really gets hung up on that type of stuff. But when I see the fan base arguing about all of this stuff and everything has become either you're chauvinistic or you're racist or you're this or you're that, it's very hard to, to communicate with people like that. Because some person could just say something and you could just be ruined, you know, and, it, and it's like, all right. Oh, glad I worked all that hard and you know you're just a commenter on YouTube that doesn't know shit about me you don't know the context of which I said stuff and I'm a, I, I I used to have a lot of problems I'm not gonna get into it, but I used to have a lot of problems like from the age of like 20 to about 35 and I got over those and one of the things that I do now is I tell the truth no matter what even if it makes me look like a piece of shit because then you can never hold anything over me and you know I've done a lot of bad things in my life but I, I, I had to face up to them. I had to look in the mirror and be like, you know, I don't have all the answers. And when you give voices like that to people that think they're always right and they have their, they ha they always have an agenda. Nobody steps back and, and appreciates what we have. Because, you know, whenever I was growing up, like, this was our Captain America. And this was our Hulk. Whoa. <laughs> So, I mean, just be thankful that we're getting all this stuff. It might not be comic book accurate. It might not even be, you know, what you want. But everybody's trying. And I, I try not to look so deep into something as fantasy. That's just me. You can call me wrong. You can call me whatever. I, I look at things and I'm like, oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. But... I don't know if they're intentionally doing those things. I don't know the motivations of the people, and neither do you. So whenever I see comments like, oh, they definitely, this is the reason, it's like, you weren't there, you don't know, 
you don't have the answers. You need to look in the mirror because usually how you judge is how you feel. Unless you're pointing out someone who's committed a blatant crime. Like, you're a murderer. That doesn't mean I'm a murderer. But if you have some sort of hatred in your heart, I've learned this just because I had to face it. If you have some of that in your heart, it's probably because it's reflective of you. So, you know, let's let's be hesitant with our judgments on people. You know, it's better to, to talk to someone and get to know them before you, you say these words, like you're a racist or you're a, a bigot or you're, you know, all those things it's 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 it sucks i'm gonna let these people feel how they want to feel and i can't say that they're wrong so all right what now i i, I got nothing and no and neither does anybody else they 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 have the a lot of people have the ability to point the finger and blame but they don't have the actual answer to that problem if you want to still point your finger and blame, that's fine. But maybe come up with a solution, too, so we can all understand each other better. And that's all I want. I'm friends with everybody. Whenever you have, like, a, a massive health problem and stuff, you, it, it is. every A lot of stereotypical things like that with your life happen. And I started to look at things a lot differently and been like, you know, I just want to be happy for the rest of my life. It's very hard because, you know, financial times are hard. The world is crazy. Crazy is all crazy let's all try to lift each other up before we tear each other down make sure that your house is fully shined with windex before you throw those stones let's all just get along all right cool